everybody and welcome to Storytime with Miss Morgan here at the Tennessee State Museum. I'm so glad to see you today. Man, I can't believe that it's already September. Time is flying. Did you know that September is Hispanic Heritage Awareness Month? That's really cool. Here in Nashville, we have a really rich and beautiful Hispanic community. So for today's story, we'll be reading Rubia and the Three Osos. But before we get started, we have to do a couple things. Let's check our visual schedule. <gasps> That's right, first things first, we gotta sing our song. So let's go sing. Are you guys ready to sing our good morning song? So before we get started, let's practice and warm up those talking hands. So remember, our signs are happy and good morning. So let's practice one more time. So happy, take your hands like you're fanning yourself, say happy and good morning. Take the fingers to your chin and say good morning. Great job, you guys are doing such a wonderful job. Good job. All right, so remember, we're gonna sing it twice. So you ready? Good morning to you, and how do you do? I'm happy to see you. Good morning to you. Oh, great job. Ready again? Say, good morning to you, and how do you do? I'm happy to see you. Good morning to you. Oh, great job. Good, 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 good. Are you guys ready? It's now time for story time. Let's go. Oh, you guys are doing so great with that song. I am very proud of you. Give yourself a pound on the back. Say, good job, me. Good job, guys. So let's take off our song. Now it's story time. All right. Rubia and the three osos. I wonder what osos means. Do you think it might mean bear in Spanish? Maybe this is a retelling of the three bears. Let's check it out. There once were three osos who lived by themselves. They stored their three platos for soup on the shelves. But one night at supper, la sopa prepared, the soup platos ladled, the chairs derriered. Mama said, let's go for a walk before dinner. It's part of my Safwood's plan so that I'll be healthier. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Papa rolled his eyes, but he still nodded see. Bebe pushed his chubby car after them. Wee! They headed away, but the door wasn't locked. Then who should come over so daintily frocked? Oh, ho, ho, little Miss Rubia. Curls made of oro. <gasps> A tiny casita for me, la adoro. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man, do you think, what's she going to do? She opened La Puerta and saw the fine food. <gasps> Sopa, she said. Oh, I'm so in the mood. The big bowl was steaming. Caliente, too hot. The middle one, Rio. What else have they got? <gasps> Eso. She spotted the tiniest bowl. Ooh, perfecto. She blurted and then drank it whole. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. She noticed three sillas where she could sit down. The big one, Tudura, it made the girl frown. The middle one, Suave, but it wouldn't do. The tiny one, great, <gasps> till she broke it in two. Uh-oh, well, that's not good. The soup made her sleepy. She headed upstairs and found Las Tres Camas for all of the bears. La Grande was hard, the middle one soft, but there was a little bed up in the loft. The small one was buena, so that's where she lay. Say, fast asleep. Then here came Papa, Mama, and Bebe. They opened the door and noticed La Mesa, where one bowl sat empty. Bebe said to Pressa, oh, Mi sopa, he yelled. He started to cry. <laughs> They didn't just eat it, they licked the bowl dry. Oh no, poor baby. <gasps> Mama saw his sia. Oh, what have they done? Urgh! Papa growled in anger. The perp better run. Uh oh, 
He is not a happy bear. <gasps> Just then, little Rubia sat up in the bed. This home isn't mine. It's for those guys instead. She dashed through the window and jumped to a tree. Soon she was chased by Angry Bears 3. They ran right behind her, but she had good speed. The girl got away. You see they're going in a big circle. Oh, there she goes. Then she did a good deed. <gasps> Let's look what she's doing. Let's see, she's reading a book and picking vegetables and, <gasps> oh, look what she made. I wonder if she'll take that soup. She came back with sopa along with some glue. Lo siento, she said, especially to you. She served Bebe soup and helped Pachacia, then gave him a ride in his cub, Caratia. Stay, said Mama, as she needed some masa. Si, sí, said Papa, our house is tu casa. Rubia felt love from the family Oso, and having their friendship was great fabuloso. The end. What a fun book! I really enjoyed this one. Plus, it helped me practice my Spanish. I'm learning Spanish, so I was really glad that I was able to find this book and practice. It's also just a really fun book, and I really love all of the colorful illustrations. So, you see how it says the three osos? So, that's the three bears. So, part of the reason I picked this book, you guys, is that on September 9th, it's National Teddy Bear Day. How fun is that? So we thought for art this week, we'd do something really fun. But before we do that, let's check out our visual schedule. Let's see, we've read our story. <gasps> so now it's time for art. So our art this week is we're encouraging you to design your own teddy bear. So your teddy bear could be one that you have, maybe it's your favorite, or maybe it's a teddy bear you wish you had. So this is my teddy bear from when I was little. I had a tie-dye teddy bear and his name was Jerry the Teddy Bear. So I just drew him like I remember him. But you know, you could also draw a teddy bear to look like a real animal. So here in Tennessee, we have the Great Smoky Mountains and they're famous for their black bears. So you could maybe draw your teddy bear as a black bear or if you live here in Nashville or visited the National Zoo, you could draw an Indian bear like they have at the zoo. So just have fun with it, enjoy. And we can't wait to see your teddy bears that you've created or maybe if you wanna share your actual teddy bear, add it to the comments here on our social media. We'd love to see those things. It always makes us smile. So what do we do next? Let's look. Well, we've done our activity. <gasps> it's find our artifact, that's right. So this week, our artifact is our teddy bear muff. So that's in our collection here at the State Museum. And a muff is kind of like gloves, but a little bit different. So gloves cover your hands so you can move around and touch things. But a muff, you stick your hands in like this and it keeps them nice and warm. It's like a big envelope. <laughs> so they are very, very popular a long, long, long time ago. And so our muff has a teddy bear on it. And what's really cool is the teddy bear looks very worn. So that tells me that I think that whoever owned this muff probably love that teddy bear a lot and maybe they took it with them to bed and slept with it after they were done playing you know using it as a muff and so it's just really cool and i love that uh, teddy bears are something very special and i think that it's really cool to have a teddy bear day so i hope you guys enjoy and we'll see you next time at Storytime with miss morgan bye guys